Well, I thought um, just a rock-solid performance all around. Um, We did a much better job in the second half of not only taking away their threes, but limiting their attempts. We don't have great perimeter size. It's a weakness of ours, but we're hard to guard. So we have to be scrappier when guys catch the ball. In the first half, they were just staring at us and shooting in our face. It wasn't like we weren't there. We just didn't have enough resistance when they caught the ball. Um, We are playing terrific offensive basketball. We are efficient. Um, We are... We are unselfish. We are executing in the half court very, very well. Um, so another balanced performance. Great to be 9-0. and um, Awesome crowd. Awesome crowd today. Very appreciative. And uh, now we obviously got a big one um, on uh, Monday. So we got to get some rest, uh, relax, and then watch a lot of film and put together a great game plan for San Francisco. So I know you, you do the one game at a time. I start, do. Um, but San Francisco is a team that shoots – even the higher volume of their threes or of their shots are threes than what UTSA does. So I'm curious how much of what you saw tonight in the second half and how you defended the threes is something maybe we will see come Monday night. Yeah, I don't, I haven't watched them, but I do know they shoot a lot of threes. Um, there wasn't much more of an adjustment to just be quicker to the ball. Um, so it'll be a good learning experience, obviously, if we see all the shots that they were hitting and then understand that we got to just be a little bit quicker to that whether it's the right hand, jam in the right hand, scramble a bit more. Um, Because we we knew they'd shoot a lot of threes. I mean, I I remember being asked a question about UTSA, and I thought they'd shoot a lot. But what I loved about the second half was they only attempted eight, which means they were uncomfortable when they caught the ball. So that's the key. you got to take luck, whatever, out of the equation and just jam that right hand, jam that left hand, and trust the defense behind you. Uh, So... I probably, I don't know what exactly they do, but similar with the three-point shooting, we got to be better there. The efficiency you mentioned in with Jalen, how, how is his efficiency today? Well, I thought he was phenomenal in the first 10 minutes. Um, he's taking really good shots. He obviously was four for five from three. Um, seven assists, one turnover is terrific. That's what I've tried to tell him. And I, the message to the team is this all the time, because we're living in a different world. It's everybody's on one year contracts, transfer portal, pros, overseas. Well, every time you step on the court, increase your value. And for Jalen, he's got to show that he can run a team uh, to wherever it is. And he can always come back, and we'll make that speech at the end of the year. But you've got to show that you can play an efficient game. Um, And then even defensively at the beginning, those first 10 minutes, he was just absolutely disruptive. So uh, really a good 29 minutes for him. And four rebounds is great as well. Nine and zero. Oh. It's a part of the territory. Don't want to put the cart before the horse. Rankings talk is going to begin, if not already. What's your philosophy? What's your feeling on rankings? Well, rankings are, are great for your fans. Um, th- there's an engagement level when you have a number in front of your your team name that certainly is important um, to your fan base. And in recruiting, it helps to get that exposure. But at the end of the day, if the goal is to win championships and the goal is to go to an NCAA tournament, an ESPN or an AP ranking has nothing to do with it. So it's great for fans um, to, to be potentially ranked. I don't think we'll be ranked, but to be potentially ranked this soon into a rebuild is, is, is certainly a testament to all the hard work that the staff and the players have done, but it's not the end game. Um, much more for us, it's about Ken Palm, it's about net, it's about all those other kind of nerdy things that we look at. Those are just way more important. So we look a lot at advanced analytics. We look a lot at Ken Palm and all those things because it just shows the way that you're playing. So if you're ranked, it's great for your fans. It doesn't do a whole lot for me, uh, quite frankly, but I understand why people would be fired up about it. And our players love it too. So, you know... Um, I just try to stay level-headed with all that stuff. Coach, middle of the game, you guys get up by about 20-plus. They cut it to single digits. But, I mean, it really didn't look like it was getting away from you guys. I mean, did you get the sense that, you know, things were still in control as they were cutting into that? Yeah, I felt I, – I mean, I think they're a good team. Like, I was talking to this coach. Like, I know they like their team. They just kind of haven't gotten it going. I, I thought they'd be able to at some point 
Um, but, you know, I mean, we were up at 21, and then they kind of cut it to eight or six or whatever it was. But we got a pretty poised group, um, and our guys were able to weather the storm. I constantly tell them, stop looking at the score. The score should not impact the way that you play. That's really, really hard. If you can ever get to that, um, that's some Alabama football level stuff there. Um, but I think our guys have been really, really good at staying under control. Uh, he complains about the refs a decent amount. So, you know, I, I what he needs to understand is, I don't know what he said. It was a goal 10. So what? Like, like, all right, we're up 20 points, big deal. Uh, you know, what he can't do is turn and run back and say something to the ref, let me do that. So learning experience for him. Um, you know, I, I don't think it was anything over the top that he did, but I, there's a rule on our team. We don't talk to the refs. If you talk to the refs, if you get a technical, we give you a minus, you run it off the next day. So he got a minus five, and um, he'll learn from it. More final stat line. I think it's more our guys are really mature about just get the ball inside, guys. It may be a little boring at times, but make them stop us first. Make them trap us. Make them do something else, and then we'll adjust as the game goes on. It's kind of like Wyoming was last year. Um, and I think our guys have been very, very mature about getting the ball to him in the right spots. Um, and, man, when, when you've got a big that's hitting 10 or 13 from the foul line and he's drawing fouls like that, it's, it's hard to stop. Coach, Matt, uh, when, uh, when Mashbury comes out with the second foul, uh, I mean, was, was the thought at the time to keep him out for the half and then just your thoughts about how he responded in the second half? I told him when he got in foul trouble, I said, you're not done for the half. And he said, I know. And I said, how the hell do you know? And he goes, I know you. Um, and I, I'm not big on – now, if the game is – it just depends on the game, but I'm not an automatic, you know, bench you if you have two fouls type of guy. It just depends on the player, depends on the trust defensively, and he's been pretty solid uh, defensively. So, you know, I, I think you just kind of read it as the game goes on, but but I thought he, he's underrated becoming a phenomenal defender. Anything else for Coach? Will we visit for Iona? Yes, okay. um, Thursday. Yeah. Did you know my dad coaches Iona? No. What? Yes. No yes. Yeah. There. Yeah. Good storyline. All right. Thank you. And to be honest, um, that's a good team there. You know what I'm saying? They shoot a lot of threes. And the pace of the game was kind of just getting getting smoother and smoother as the game went on. And as soon as we caught that pace, I feel like House and Mads did a good job pushing the ball, getting me and Josiah easy ones, and everybody was just running, I feel like, which is where we're at our best in transition. Now, I know they're one of the, you know, they run top 25 in terms of how many three shoot yes game. so you guys knew they were going to shoot a bunch um but how hard is that to defend when you're a big guy a lot of long rebounds mm -hmm. um, stuff like that does that does that make it difficult on you as a big um for sure for sure i feel like you just got to find your man and check him out quick or it's going to be on you so you got to make sure you find your man quickly check him out and then go get and then go after the ball so that's all we do just check out and go after it how much of the fouls the high high yeah. volume fouls especially in the second half seems yeah. to keep coming how much of that kind of just take you guys out of the rhythm um, I feel like um, as a team, like we're good from the free throw line. So I feel like it's just keep fouling when we get to the free throw line, knocking down. So it's good for us. Is that your best game ever? This game right here? No. No. I feel like it was just a smooth game. Guards did a good job of just getting me the ball. I was drawing fouls and missed three free throws. I wish I got them back, but you know what I'm saying? I just got to get in the lab, keep shooting. But I don't feel like it was my best game. I feel like it was one of them for sure. <clears throat> You guys have had these big gaps between games. Now you got a quick turnaround. And how big was it to, to get a win and focus on what, what was happening today and not look ahead to Monday? Oh, yeah. That's our, kind of our motto. Just take one game at a time. Don't look to the future. Just stay in the present and just keep on pounding, keep on chipping at the games. And we came out with a win and we're still undefeated. What did you guys do defensively in the second half? I mean, things <clears> getting away, you think they would take even more threes, but you guys yeah. really took that away from them in the second half. What were you guys doing? Um, I feel like the guards did a good job of just uh, playing up on the shooters, and um, I kind of did a – me, Joe, Biggs did a good job of just staying at the level of the screen because they're, you know, um, 
um, their guards would like to come off the screen and pull it immediately. So if we're at the level, it's going it's to disrupt their, their form and everything in a shot. So I feel like the bigs did a good job of just being at the level. Just so many free throws taken tonight, and then just the fact that some of those guys were at the ultra level yeah. last year, you guys are just trying to draw the stop. <clears throat> uh, we're just playing hard. Whatever comes with it comes with it. So playing hard and the fouls and the free throws came with it, and uh, we all did a good job of knocking them down. So Jalen in the first half especially, yes. his final stat line was, was great, 21 points, 7 assists, all that good stuff. But like <coughs> the first half in particular, like, Jalen seemed like he was on a mission, man. Like how, how fun is it just to watch a point guard like that go? Yeah. Just that? I love Jalen, man. He just he sets the tone for us defensively, picks up 100, and he, he shows up like whenever we need him the most, which is big. St. Mary you know, was down bad in the first half. He showed up, played great on-ball defense without fouling, uh, hit, hit some big threes. He's just he's very big for us, and we need him. He just had one foul, and, I mean, one steal and one block, but, like, it's hands on the Yeah, he's so, everywhere. Yeah. A whole bunch of deflections, which he does well. He's pretty good. Have you looked yes. at any film from San Francisco yet? <clears throat> no, no film. We just like to take it one game at a time, and, and, I, and I know the coach is going to prepare for San Francisco, uh, San Francisco tomorrow and have a, a good uh, game plan. You guys are so undefeated. Yes, sir. Yeah. You guys ever talk about the start? And is there any <clears throat> pressure that goes along with it? No, no pressure because getting the season – uh, I could bet you everybody didn't know we were going to be undefeated. So I feel like we could just keep on going. We The best thing about us is that we just look at one game at a time, and we're very mature. So we have older guys who know know how to win and, and play the right way. So that's big, just being mature. Having the experience you have going to the tournament and knowing how every game counts for resume and, yep. and just experience losing the two games, how big was it for you guys to get this extra one on Monday? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, the New Mexico State games are going to be very huge. You know, the uh, – they're, I think, set to win the conference, I guess. But, you know what I'm saying? San Francisco is going to be a good a good resume builder as well as Iona. And we just need to keep on chipping away one game at a time. Just keep on playing hard. Um, freshman Donovan yeah. Dent. You mean freshman <laughs> yeah. Donovan Dent? Yeah. It's a technical there, Dan. Are you going to have to have a little – you're going to have to have a word or something? I don't even know if that was a tech. I don't – it, it, it didn't like a tech. I mean, I think – I thought it was goaltending. But, you know, the officiating was solid today. I can't blame him. And, you know what I'm saying? But at home, I'm, I mean, at home, I'm definitely going to get on his head a little bit, but, you know, but he'll be all right. Anything else for him? What's the most consistent characteristic or adjective that describes your team? Um, I feel like we're very mature, play hard, uh, play smart, and we play together. Well, it was something Coach uh, reiterated on a lot during practice and film and, you know, walk through and stuff. It's like we got to make them put it on the floor. Um, basically, all their top scorers, they, they get them up. Um, and we kind of were obviously not doing that uh, during the first half. And so in the second half, um, guys kind of realized, you know, like this isn't a game that you can just kind of, you know, BS, so to say. Um, and so guys, you know, really started getting up kind of making them have to drive, make decisions in the paint, um, and then just try to limit them that way. As far as stat lines go, I mean, you have another one. I mean, it wasn't quite as close to the double-double. You're yeah. getting pretty consistent with the uh, with the numbers. Um, then you got guys like, like Jalen House in that first half, so he was just kind of going off, and Morris was looking 24-8. and eight. Like, you guys are putting up offensively. You guys are putting up some numbers. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm curious if you saw this coming. I know, I know you guys all were pretty optimistic about how good things could be, and offense wasn't the question with this team, but you guys offensively are putting up pretty crazy numbers. Did you see this coming? Um, so, yes and no. Um, so, obviously, like, one of the big appeals during the recruiting process was how many proven guys we have at the Division One level. Um, and so, with that, obviously, you know, Jalen, Mash, Mo, like all those, like any night can be one of those guys' night. Um, and obviously Jalen showed it in the first half. Um, Mo kind of fluctuated a little bit here. Like you just kind of have spurts where you go get like six or eight in a row and then, you know, do nothing for about ten minutes and then eight in a row. And um, yeah, obviously I, I can have my nights too, like I did at like SMU. Um, but, I mean, it just, it just kind of speaks to the just versatility that this team has where, um, it makes it really difficult for teams to scout us because you can't, like, limit one thing. You know, like, you can't stay tight to the guards because if you don't have anybody on Mo, he's going to go get 20 on you. And if you're playing down on Mo, obviously we got elite guards on the outside that can go make something happen. Um, and then I just kind of clean up whatever's left. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I, I 
I knew it was going to be a possibility. I didn't see it was going to. I didn't think it was going to be this, <laughs> this uh, consistent. I guess. I mean, knock on wood, they've been doing it so far, and you, you hope they would. But like the guards finding you, and, and the way you run the floor is big. Like mm-hmm. the, the guards are finding you pretty well, and then you get that one alley oop that maybe wasn't the best pass, but like. <laughs> Like, yeah, their ability to find you though is, is something that obviously the Wolves can do. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so um, obviously my my whole game is just hustle. You know, um, I'm I bit you know a lot of this a lot of the impact that I have on the game doesn't show up in the stat sheet, um, and so just things like running the court, you know, it forces mismatches where, you know, maybe like a guard that's usually back and just kind of waits for the point guard to come up now is to match up with me, and even if I don't get the ball in transition, now there's a big on the perimeter who has to stop one of our guards from shooting on him, and then. Obviously, you just swing it, get things moving, um, just kind of open it up, or you know, allow the guards to drive in. But um, coach, coach talks about it a lot, and you know, the guards have no problem doing it. But um, he always talks about like whenever us bigs are running, like obviously you don't have to throw it every time, but um, they do a good job kind of rewarding the hustle and um, effort I put into open stuff up for them. What's the adjective that best describes your team? You're nine and zero. Thing question. Um, it's a tough one. Um, off the top of my head, I'd, I'd probably just have to go with mature. Um, I think I'm gonna have to stick with that. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, we, we got we got older guys, and so um, we kind of know how to approach a game. We know like how to take care of business, and guys really don't get too up or down. Um, you know, for the most part, we stay level-headed. You know, there's certain times, you know, guys will play to the crowd. But um, for the most part, we just kind of play our game. And obviously, we still have a lot of improvement to do. But we don't really get too caught up or too relaxed. Now, we did a little bit tonight, but obviously, the maturity showed in the second half. We were able to, like, hey, like, you know, cut the BS. Like, we still got a guard. We still got to win a game. Um, so, yeah, I would, I would go with mature. How is it playing with uh... – Point guard like level that Jalen's been playing mm-hmm. in this today, and then also just this year so far. Uh, I mean, it's awesome. Um, I mean, there's there's definitely sometimes you just kind of, you know, just stand there and watch him work. <laughs> um, you know, I mean, he, he's a he's a great point guard. You know, he he knows how to mix in everything, whether it's you know coming off ball screen and finding someone like I think tonight he had like seven or eight assists or something. Um, and so it's not like he's just out there just trying to, you know, do his own. Um, but he's definitely more than capable of it. And so it's just kind of exciting to see where that's going to go, um, especially because even though, you know, people look at our team and they think, like, you know, we have, like, a, a small backcourt, but, you know, like, like House can guard, you know. Like, he, he's obviously a great athlete. Like, he can move shift. I'm just, I don't know how many steals he's averaging, probably at least a couple. Um, but, I mean, he, he's a – He's a, he's a great leader. Like he brings that energy, and um, I mean, it's just, I mean, it's, it's been a blessing getting to play with him. Anything else for the rest of the night? Um, I mean, it's going to be another test. Um, kind of like I talked about maturity. Like we're going to need to learn from this game because we weren't perfect defensively. Um, and San Francisco, I think they shoot more threes than this team did. And so if we think we're going to just go in there, you know, just keep the keep the ball rolling um we're gonna have another thing coming and so hopefully guys are gonna approach this game with the mentality that this is a big one obviously it's a it's a neutral site like we're not gonna have our amazing fans behind us and we're gonna have to correct our mistakes from this game um because san francisco is more i mean i think they're seven and one one or two or eight and one eight and two yeah um i mean they're they're not a bad team they're not a team that's just gonna you know get pushed over and stay down um and so it's, it's a quick turnaround, obviously, um, two days and being an away game. Um, it, it'll be a test to just our, our focus and commitment to the game plan to uh, actually turn around our, our mistakes from tonight.